Hi, this is Peggy with Natural Awakenings Magazine, and we are here today with Dr. Greg Seaman of Thrive MD out in Schaumburg. And I'm really thrilled to be talking with Dr. Greg today. Um, they take a whole body proactive approach to your overall health and have some wonderful therapies and some wonderful protocols out there. And just kind of want to get started, Dr. Greg. Thanks for joining us. Yes, thank you for having me. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about Thrive and, and your approach to medicine. So the idea behind Thrive kind of started, uh, we wanted to give people a more, a better picture of their overall health, uh, mm -hmm. sort of a um, better evaluation of lab panels and uh, get to know the patients better. And we spend more time generally with the patients. So it works out pretty well. So what are your specialties out at Thrive? Uh, we do a lot of regenerative medicine, so stem cells and exosomes, platelet-rich plasma, and then we do a lot of IV therapies and hormone optimization, a lot of lab panels, and then we optimize, look to optimize those numbers. So there's a big difference between the normal and the optimal level. So that's what we strive for. So let's, that's a great place for us to start. Let's start looking at lab panels. Typically, somebody goes to see their doctor, they get some labs ordered, you get a report back, and may or may not show a true photo, photo picture of what's going on. So how are your lab panels different? What do people look for? Yeah, we see that a lot. People come in and in our discussion, they'll say they just had a full lab panel done at their regular doctor's office. So we always ask them to bring that in. We can always start with that. Mm -hmm. And typically that turns out to be three, four, maybe five different labs. Uh, really a, just a preliminary look at things. So when we do a lab panel, it's closer to 80 labs that we, that we run. Wow. Like okay. we check six or seven different numbers just for the thyroid. So we know exactly what's, what's going on with the thyroid. It just gives a much better picture of, uh, of the whole body overall health. And, and we look at things like three different markers for inflammation and three different markers for blood sugar management and uh, just a much more in-depth look. So if someone's experiencing a lot of inflammation or just feel, you know, joint pain and not sure if they have a problem, how are these lab panels different? I mean, what are they looking for? Yeah, we, we kind of think inflammation is one of the best indicators of overall health. And I always tell people that inflammation isn't necessarily the problem, although sometimes it can become the problem if it's too much, but it's usually like the smoke. And then we go looking for where the yeah. fire is. A lot of that time, a lot of times it comes from the GI tract, from the gut, lots of inflammation like, starts there. Okay. So what types of things would you be looking at then to try to tie in if you get a panel result indicating inflammation and then you're thinking it might be gut so what what types of protocols what to, i don't know if protocols is the right word but what's the process so it, it, a lot of it depends on the history we sort of correlate the lab results with the history that they're telling us and uh, mm -hmm. things like food intolerances or lots of bloating for example can be a sign of something like a candida overgrowth in the stomach or perhaps a small intestinal bacterial overgrowth is something we've seen a lot of. Okay. So right now we've focused a lot on immunity these last few months with COVID-19 and uh, other illnesses and other things and, and people just changing their lifestyles as well and maybe becoming less active these last few months. And I know you take a very proactive approach to immunity therapy out there. Yes, we do. We do. We got a lot of questions about that when, when this whole situation started. And, you know, your body's there to protect you all the time. Your immune system is critical. We wouldn't, wouldn't last a minute without the immune system. So your body's always fighting off viruses. And this is a unique virus that we're dealing with now. But you still want to, I think, focus on the, the main, the foundational thing. So they, everybody talks about the hand washing and not touching your face, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Um, and then there's other things you can do in general to keep your immune system in top form. Obviously, stress reduction, you know, it's a bit impossible in some situations, but the best that you can do or taking time out meditation, for some people that's, that's prayer or even listening to music even, just something to sort of break that relentless stress and then getting good sleep is always important. Um, you know, eating a good diet, all of those things are, are really I think points that we need to focus on in times like this when, when a strong immune system becomes, you know, such a priority. Mm -hmm. Are there some other therapies that we could be using that might be a more proactive approach as well to help boost eating better and getting sleep and reducing stress? 
Yeah, there are some there are some things we use some some different IV therapies to help uh, get the appropriate vitamins and nutrients in. Things like vitamin D are important. There are some specific immune supplements from a, a company called Zymogen. Uh, we use some supplements from them to support the immune system. There are even some peptides that they've some of the compounding pharmacies have come up with to support the immune system through activation through the thymus gland and B and T cell activation. So there's lots of other things you can do on top of that, but the, the foundation is really critical and it's, yeah. it's just lifestyle changes for the most part, as far as getting to sleep and eating a good diet, some exercise obviously, but like most things you can overdo it with the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's overall immunity we're talking about, not to any one specific thing, but just our overall health and immunity, yes. of course. So one of the things that you also do out at Thrive is a lot of different types of IV therapy. Um, so talk a little bit about that, if you would, please. What, what is IV therapy first? Yes. So uh, IV therapy, that's one of the ways that I got into this with a background in anesthesia is just uh, mm -hmm. delivering vitamins and nutrients directly into the bloodstream. We bypass any potential problems with the absorption in the gut. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can get levels that you just can't get by taking supplements orally. So we do a lot of IV therapies, a lot of vitamins, um, amino acids, and different nutrients. I think the most common one that most people have heard of it would be the Myers cocktail, just named after Dr. Myers, who came up with it. And it's basically some vitamin C, B vitamins, uh, and some calcium and magnesium. So we do do that one. We've expanded on it a little bit, and we call that the nutritional IV. But that's kind of, I guess, the, the base or maybe the best way to start. It covers a lot of bases and, and gives you these vitamins in a, in a good form and mm -hmm. pure and uh, very high levels delivered right to the cells. And then we, we do a lot more with uh, amino acids, too, and uh, some other things like NAD IVs that helps with uh, energy production in, inside the cells. We've gotten into some of that lately. What is NAD? NAD is nicotinamide adenide dinucleotide, so it's a, uh, a precursor, yeah. <laughs> That's why you call it NAD, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> NAD for short, yeah. So it's a precursor in the uh, electron transport chain in the energy production process of the mitochondria of the cells. Wow. So, so, many, so many things that we do, you know, they just focus on improving a person's health. Like mm -hmm. um, a lot of Western medicine is designed to sort of treat a problem or a disease process. And we sort of try to focus mostly on uh, trying to help the body do what it's trying to do. So one of the easiest ways to do that is to help it make energy more efficiently. Mm -hmm. uh, the IV therapies I've just seen grow a lot in the last few years. Where is that technology going? Where, where do you see it, how it's going to be evolving even more? Yeah, I think it's changed even since uh, since we started back in 2013. When we started, there were a lot more compounding pharmacies making a few things here and there. And it seems like over the past five to seven years that it's changed. And now there are fewer, bigger pharmacies. So we get, I think we probably order from six or seven different compounding pharmacies across the country. Um, and I think it'll continue to go that way. I think IV therapies are sort of gaining some traction and public opinion. And uh, it's really a good, efficient way to get vitamins. Well, great. So we've talked a little bit about lab panels today. We've talked about IV therapies as ways people can improve their overall health. What are some other tips that you would offer for people who just really want to boost up their immune system and start, step up their health in general at this point? Yeah, I think, I think that there's a lot that people can do today. I think that's a, one of the good things is that there's a lot out there for those people that are looking for it. Uh, that's, you know, we work with people that across the spectrum, really. Um, we've got, I've got a couple patients that are over 600 pounds and, you know, and then we've got some professional athletes. So we, in both situations, we work with them to live at the top of their range, or if we're lucky, we can even adjust that range. But it's all about living the best life at any age, really. We don't really focus too much on living longer or, you know, the anti-aging movement yeah. that they talk about. We do a lot of things that, that people are doing in pursuit of anti-aging, but really it's about being the healthiest you can be today. Yeah, great. So if somebody wants to learn more about ThriveMD, um, what's the best way to get more information? Uh, well, we have our website is thrivemd.com mm -hmm. or our clinic here in Schaumburg can be reached at 
312-600-5070. So either of those would work. Okay. And there's a lot of great information on your website for people to learn more. They can find out more about the types of IV therapies that you do, as well as other things, your, your Hockett saunas, your stem cell, um, some of the nutritional therapies, weight loss programs, et cetera. So great. Well, thank you, Dr. Greg. Really appreciate the time today. It's been great talking with you. Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay.